Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for WrestleMania 34. Yes, this marks our, well, one year anniversary of being on YouTube. It's true. Our first video was, well, it wasn't a predictions video. Our first video was that introduction video. (laughs) But it was our first official video. Yep. That's uh, what it was. So, yeah. So, I guess we'll start off with the pre-show. Since we know what matches are going to happen then. It's true. And then after that, we have no idea how it's going to go. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, the first match we got is the uh, Cruiserweight title match between Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander. You're going to make me pick, aren't you? Um, yes. How this goes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was actually just going to pick the person that you didn't pick. Oh. Because I'm kind of... I, I, I'm... Split. Are here. you actually on the fence about this one? I am. I I think there's no way that Cedric doesn't win. Well, I mean, like, I feel like Mustafa Ali's been doing a lot of social media work and stuff like that mm-hmm. to kind of build him up a little more. Okay. But I don't know. I just I just thought that there was no way that it, it wasn't going to go to Cedric based I, off of how things were going previously. Pri- right. Prior to <laughs> you were talking about prior to the whole tournament yeah, and everything. Yeah. With Enzo and everything. Yeah. I just figured that no matter how the tournament went, mm-hmm. it was going to culminate with Cedric winning the title, and I think they picked Ali because that was the best chance or the best match that they could. That's uh, fair. Like actually fair. put on. So just, that, that was my thought. I just felt. I, I guess yeah, that's pretty fair. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Ali if you're gonna go with Cedric. All right. There we go. So we have a split already. Woo! Yeah. I mean, granted, we have battle royal matches that we don't even know who the full participants are or if anybody's coming back all we can do is just make wild accus or wild guesses guesses? and then uh maybe possibly we'll be right yeah we're not gonna be right on these no 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 all right all right we got the women's battle royal first yeah um well i I would assume that i wonder if they have a list of people who are actually in bailey and sasha Ah, will be a part of the last few remaining I feel like they're gonna eliminate each other, mm-hmm. and then it'll be a third too. person that's in there with the two of them that'll get the win. Um, I'm gonna go with Becky. I feel like she's that would deserving make sense of it based off the fact that three and, of them are right and have a history together. When we had uh, the whole encounter with Becky and Sasha during the mixed match challenge, when mm-hmm. she filled in for Charlotte, and they yeah. kind of. Had a little back and forth. Mm-hmm. So that is going to be my pick. That's that's, uh, that's a fair guess. Um, honestly, it's 100% up in the air. There's really... <laughs> Hell, it could be Ember Moon. or it I, could I was be... going to say, there's a good chance that an NXT person has a good <clears throat> Yeah, a It shot. makes sense. Because that's what they did with Baron Corbin. He was still technically wasn't on the in main NXT. Yeah. He was in NXT. Huh. So, well, while there you go. I wouldn't pick Ember Moon... Like, there's no reason why, like, Kyrie Sane or, or... Peyton or someone like that. Yeah, or um, Shayna, if... Oh, well, I think she's going to win the title. Well, I'm just saying, if she doesn't win the title... And if Ember doesn't win the title, there's a good chance it would be her. Right. So, but, I, yeah, either so. debuting here and winning it or showing up on Raw or SmackDown. Yeah, so... What I'll, what I'll do is I think it probably will be an NXT person. I'll, I'll go with Ember. Sure. I that's like fair Moon, so no, no no that's absolutely fair um and then we got the uh the men's andre the giant battle royal <sighs> this one's a little harder yeah because as of right now there's really no one not, i don't want to say deserving of winning it but i mean granted there's no one it, who makes sense to win well also it really honestly doesn't matter because <laughs> let's think of last year's winner yeah it's mojo and he's back in it again to do nothing it's funny because it's a combination of Lower mid carders and old men. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like established undercard people yeah. and people who have already done what they're gonna do. Right. So, because it's funny because they're kind of like booking this as something that's gonna spark something in a career. Right. But you have several people who have been around forever. Goldust, Heath Slater, Rhino, oh, no. Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy, Dolph Ziggler, mm-hmm. even Fandango is kind of close to that. 
So it just it's yeah, just and, dumb. You, and the rest of the people are tag teams, so they're probably yeah. not going to win. To be perfectly honest, based off of this list. Corbin winning again? <laughs> no, I was going to say. Or tie? The winner will is not on this list. Oh, There's oh, yeah, no yeah. way the winner's on this list. I don't think so either. Um, uh, we're going off of the Wikipedia page, yeah. obviously. Um, I mean, what if we, we know Big Cass is cleared to wrestle. Cass, Joe. I don't Unless Joe's going to be uh, Braun's partner, that's who. So if he, although he could just completely miss the the, the show because that's exactly yeah. what happened last year, right? And Finn, right, as well, because Finn I thought was cleared as well yeah. at Mania mm-hmm. and he missed it and then yep. came back a week or two mm-hmm. afterward, or the week the night after. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, All I know is that that person, the winner, is not on the list. Yeah. Could be the Big Show. It's possible. How could anybody ever eliminate the big show? Exactly. I think he's going to be in that greatest Royal Rumble. Yeah. So 50 men, right? Mm-hmm. Crazy. It's true. And it's going to be uh, televised. Um, so so do, you cool. have a, do you have a guess? Well, I'm going to say it's going to be probably someone from NXT. Okay. Um, it's tough to make a guess now because Adam there Cole. are... Adam Cole is a good choice. Mm-hmm. Um, or... Um, I was going to say maybe Velveteen. Him. If he doesn't win. Lars Sullivan. Oh, yeah. Because I don't know. Well, he's still got something going on with uh, Killian, right? Or did they ever... Well, that's technically getting resolved, but it's going to continue. Yeah, because so they're feel both like, in that ladder yeah. match. We may see one of them in it like we saw yeah, Killian Dane, last Dane. year. Yeah, so yeah. that's possible. Mm-hmm. Um, so who are you going with? Um, it's, it's, it's a match that you can't really pick. It's true. Pick. It's um, a completely irrelevant match, too. Yeah. But. Are you going to pick Adam Cole? I think I'm going to pick Adam Cole. All right, then I'll pick Velveteen Dream. Okay. All right, Dream. <clears throat> and watch, though. Neither of them will probably be in it. Well, that's fine. Well, they're both in that ladder match. And right. Both of them have a chance to win it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Well, that's the thing. Like we had said previous to the recording here that any one of those five men could win that ladder match. Or six men, I was right? going to say six. six of them. Yeah. I, I keep forgetting that Killian is in it I was going to say, reason. I think that him and Sullivan have the least likely chance true his dream's been on a roll adam cole mm-hmm. is adam cole right and um, then ec3 his... and um ricochet, ricochet are like the new blood so yeah there's always a chance that they could win well yeah that also depends if they're gonna put ricochet on 205 live or not i don't know but good question we'll see we'll so, see yeah we'll talk about that when the time comes yeah so um, what do you got next? Yeah, we got the triple threat match for the IC title. Feel, this is feel now, like this is going to open the show. Now we are on the main card, yes. Um, Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins versus The Miz. Yeah. Said it six months ago. He did. Finn Balor needs that title. He does. And Seth Rollins won their match on Monday. Mm-hmm. Not that it has any bearing on anything, but nope. I always like to point it out because it gets you annoyed. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um, I'm going with Balor. Uh, I think Balor's the good, the right choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we think that Miz might be taking time off. Yeah, unless he, yeah, because retains I mean, I it and then and still then takes lo- time off. Well, <laughs> well, there's always that well, possibility. Loses it on Monday, right? For, when, for well, a, when uh, does his uh, streak? Uh, it's weeks. Is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I think that that's just going to be the story for the next time he wins the title. I gotcha. So or it's he'll cumulative, never do it. so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's only had the title for like two months now. Right. Because he won it back at the end of January. Yeah, right before the or after the Rumble? No, it was before the Rumble. It was right before the Rumble. Yeah. It was on Raw 25, I think. Okay. Uh, that's right. Yeah. All right, what do we got next? Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax for the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah, Nia Jax is going to win. Mm-hmm. It's pretty... Uh, if if they don't have her win, it completely well, discredits this is, everything. This is Booker T and Triple H all over again. Yeah, pretty much. It completely <laughs> discredits everything that's been going on. Yeah. Nah. Uh, um, but it will be interesting to see her title run. But, I mean, it, it can be a dominant title run. Or it could be like we said, um, Nia gets herself disqualified, Carmella cashes in mm-hmm. on Alexa. That would that'd be a possibility. fitting as well. Yes. So, but technically the, speaking, we'd be wrong if that happened. But Well, yes, but the title's coming off Alexa one way or another. That's true. I feel like, yeah, this she has weaseled her way out enough to... I'll tell you what, she had one hell of a year. Oh, yeah. coming from Because she won it, I think, at the end of April last year. Something like that. It was like and, 10 days that she didn't hold a title throughout, uh, or two weeks, something like that. Oh, it wasn't even that. Oh, well, between WrestleMania last year and when mm-hmm. she won it, right. I think it was like three weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah and then yeah. she dropped it for a whole day against yeah. Sasha. 
Ah, right. So, uh, uh, or it might have been a week. I oh, think well, then she won it, a week lost later. it from, yeah, Naomi, and then won it like a week later, I think, something like that. All right, so, so what do we got next? Uh, we got the triple threat match for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Chips. Uh, we got uh, the Bludge Brothers versus the New Day versus the Usos. I'm honestly a little disappointed this isn't a stipulation match. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they could have done Cause more I, with it. Weeks ago, I had said, oh, man, they should do a, a triple threat TLC match with instead of the Bludgeon Brothers having Shelton Benjamin and Chad, Chad Gable. Chad in there. Gable. That'd be great. But I, like I said previously, when I had speculated that this match was going to happen, that it's going to be very similar to the DIY revival and Authors of Pain, where yeah. it's going to be the two teams working against each other to take out yeah. and the unlike, Bludgeon Brothers. And unlike that storyline, this is already built in that that could happen. Right. Because the Usos and New Day are, they have that agreeing mm, or agreement. Respect. That, that thing. It's got the Oost truce, man. <laughs> so, yeah, because the, the authors of, not the authors of pain, DIY and the revival, like, hated each other mm. going into that match, and then they. Well, that's what made it so. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what do you think? I, I still feel like the Bludger Brothers are going to come away with the titles. You really think that? I think so. I think I think that the Usos just have had that title for such a long time that they Dude. should take it off of them. I just don't think it's going to be the Bludgeon Brothers. I think the New I, Day I just, have a good chance. I don't know. I feel like they're going to move away from that. What? One of the two of them having the titles. Um. Well, it could lead to the New Day facing the Bludgeon Brothers, and then eventually, I just I don't see the Bludgeon Brothers winning at WrestleMania. That's I, I very think that's, fair. That's the thing. Yeah, and they did dominate at the last pay per view, mm -hmm. but. I think that the numbers will finally show, like, I just, I, yeah, they're they're gonna eventually get a, a title yeah, reign, which is fine, but that that'll be at the but, next. Like period. I said, I still think the authors of pain are gonna go up and take it off the Bludgeon Brothers. That that's very possible, assuming that they're on the same show. That's true. Um, it's just with the way that things are working out on Raw, and if the authors of pain are coming up, it would make sense for them to go to SmackDown with another team. Why would they go to Raw? Just Raw's garbage. Oh, I realize that, but you're still going to have a draft. I guess that's true, so but, it wouldn't matter. I, well, yeah, because, I mean, if... Oop. Well, when we get to the Raw Tag Team title match, because... We'll discuss further. I guess so. That's, yeah. yeah. All right. So we got Sweaty and the Beard mm -hmm. versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Obviously, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Mm -hmm. um, so... If Owens and Zayn lose, they'll be fired for good. Mm -hmm. So does that mean they're going to win? Yeah. Shame a man's going to cost uh, yeah. them uh, or cost them and him and Daniel Bryan the match. It's true. I'm surprised that they put Daniel Bryan in a match that he can't win as his first oh, that's, match. Yeah, that's what's back. weird. Yeah. But oh, whatever. Um, I mean, I guess there's always the possibility that they do lose and show up on Raw, but that would it be counterintuitive because of the fact that they, they were came on Raw, from Raw previously. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. All I know is that hopefully, you know, we've been saying this for a very long time. It's just going to get worse. <laughs> well, that ch the chapter of Shane versus Kevin Owens it's is done. going to be shut. That's what I'm hoping for. Yes, so. And uh, I mean, it, we're <clears throat> we're not going to get six man tag matches with uh, Shane McMahon and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn on the same team against Daniel Bryan and another team. Why would that happen? I don't know because they'll all be the heels. Because Shane's going to no. Technically, Shane needs to go away. I agree. He said so he Jeff was Jarrett going can to. come and shut up, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah, let's go on before. Let's get off of this topic so you can get off of that nonsense. <laughs> all right. You're never so, going to hear the end of it we when got it happens. the Raw Tag Team Championships. <laughs> Sheamus and Cesaro, The uh -huh. Bar, versus Braun Strowman and, and Mystery Partner. And question mark. Yes, three of them. <laughs> yeah, question marks. All right, so I still firmly believe that Samoa Joe will be his partner. It's fair. The two of them will win the tag team titles and then feud down the road, which I feel like... Very cut and dry kind of storytelling. Yeah, yeah. I'm not complaining. I'm just and saying that's why that I that think the because I feel like the authors' pain are going to come up and make an impact. So I feel like them trying to derail the Bludgeon Brothers on SmackDown makes more sense. Yeah, it's true. And hopefully they'll do 
the draft, like mm-hmm. we said, and put some tag teams back on Raw. Yeah. So I mean, hell, a division. Could, yeah, I mean, we could even see the titles back on Sheamus and Cesaro if you it's know. Just fine. I I hope they go to SmackDown and they. Yeah, yeah. They, oh yeah, and, them and the Usos. Oh, well, they, they had a great match at Survivor Series. Because if they put Sheamus and Cesaro on SmackDown and then move Shelton Benjamin, Chad Gable to Raw, mm-hmm. and let's say they move the New Day back to Raw, that still evens out the playing field because then you're taking two of the stronger tag teams who aren't really being utilized right. properly and making everything fresh by it's moving true. people around. It's true. So that's that's my thought. But, yeah, all speculation here. So. That's true. And nothing like that could possibly ha- or nothing like that could happen at all and it could be true. crazy nonsense again. James Ellsworth could come out and be Braun Strowman's partner. I would be okay with that. <laughs> it would be, it there, would be there's funny. really no one who <clears throat> would be bad. Unless Shane McMahon is his partner. I what guess if, that is true. What if that Jeff Jarrett be... comes out as his partner? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Charlotte versus Kid Austin. Rock. I'd be okay with that. Right. And then Braun Power slams him through the ring. That also be everybody funny. goes home happy. Yeah. All right, so we got Charlotte <clears> versus Oscar <throat> for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So it's the streak versus the title. I guess yeah. that's what they've been. Mm-hmm. Says. Well, that's what everything is with Oscar. It's, true. it's always the streak versus something. Um, the first, or the I guess the obvious thing is, is Charlotte going to be the one to break the streak? Like I said on our review, I would be okay with it. Mm-hmm. She she does she does <clears throat> make the most sense to be the one. So, but at the same time, you give Oscar that title, you kind of change like the dynamic and stuff like that. Of the you're talking about the show yeah. or yeah mm. oh absolutely it, it it changes the SmackDown's women division from being Charlotte and everybody else right because everybody was kind of on even playing field I mean Charlotte lost to Natalia and I think R- Ruby during like a six woman tag or something like that not yeah. her getting pinned but you know what I mean mm-hmm. um but no yeah, yeah it, it's true it's it's a weird situation um. But I, I, I still think that Asuka is going to win. All right. Uh, I'm going to agree. I like the idea of Charlotte potentially winning. Mm-hmm. I like the idea of a match that isn't obvious, especially one like this, where there is doubt. Right. But again, I, I still think that Asuka, just the way she's been booked anyway, in terms of like the the level of i guess authority that she's like presented with mm-hmm. that it would make sense it would make her a very credible champion so i think oh yeah that's absolutely the thing to do yeah <laughs> and then probably down the line she's gonna end up losing to ronda rousey yeah ronda or rousey. or it could be you know someone else we'll it see. could be we'll see it's true all right so uh, up next we have aj styles versus shinsuke nakamura for the wwe championship this is uh this is a coin flip too it's true. Um, AJ's had the title for, what, four months now? When did you win it? November? I think so. So it's five? Six. Six? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, about <sighs> five. Yeah, five and a half. Because there's... It's funny because Daniel Bryan coming back as a wrestler is a huge variable in this because he could feud with either of those two even if it's not like non- a traditional feud right. it could just be a like a match to right, right. i want to a dream match so to speak mm-hmm. um i would imagine that if shinsuke wins the title that could be his first feud yeah if shinsuke loses mm-hmm. that could be his, his first, first feud, feud anyway. as well yeah so unlike the universal title where it seems pretty obvious where they're going mm-hmm. this is a, a lot more in the air and it's nice because they built it that way. Like, this is just two people that are trying to one-up each other. Right. With no one having a clear advantage. That's true. So, um... Well, I... The only thing is that AJ is supposedly going to be retiring soon. hmm I think that this might be his WrestleMania moment, and then Shinsuke's will come in another time. That's a good possibility. So, that... Yeah. That would be my mm-hmm. thought. So I'm going to go with AJ. All right. Um, well, I think that this 
whole thing with AJ being uh, you put it in the wrong uh, I did. box. Um, <laughs> uh, with him being banged up and everything and nagging injuries and stuff like that, I think this is going to be Shinsuke's time. That is a I good point. I would like AJ to hold the title forever, but, you know, it's bodies true. break down, things he's, like uh, that. He's getting old. Yeah. So. And, but, yeah, it's, it's good. good point. Good yeah. point. But, again, it, yeah, like you said, really, Daniel Bryan is the, uh, the X factor, kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, he's looming. Yeah, but I mean, like, or, I had read reports that he wasn't going to be involved for the title for a little while. Yeah, but. which would lead to believe that Shinsuke would be his next feud if Shinsuke loses. Right, and that's just, I don't know where they go as far as next opponent uh, with well, AJ and Shinsuke. That's what I worries think, me. I think either of them could go up against the Rusev, and it would be just fine. Well, that's true. We will get to that match after. It's true. Um, and t- but, but beyond that, there's really nobody. Yeah. Unless Jinder they... will be, make his appearance. No. <laughs> his research and sense I, I the, think, uh, I think Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> so we need to see that feud You again. joke. It's possible. Yeah, we don't need to see him and Shinsuke again. I'm not saying that it's a good idea. Or Bob Roode could turn heel. <laughs> that finally. would be better. And, well, they had, yeah, they had. Shinsuke and Bobby Roode fought twice, twice last Yes. Time. Yeah. A uh, year ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was right. It was Takeover take Mania over, weekend. Yeah. That and the Rumble one. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, let's move on to the, uh, I guess, the showcase match of the night. Sure. We got Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey teaming up against Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah. again, very much like the Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss match, this is going to be... Um, the good guy is triumphing over the bad guys. Mm-hmm. So we got Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey going over. It's There's no way that anything else makes sense. No, it's true. And, you know, if they're going to be build Ronda up to be, you know, an unbeatable force, which seems to be the way they're going. Yeah. Imagine if they, they do all of this and then they lose. I mean, there's that possibility that it's just out of the way and there's no... Uh, you know, expectations that she's going to, you know, have like an Oscar-like streak or something like that. I guess, but that's still, th- this is not. Oh, no, no. She's you definitely have... going to win, especially when they made it a point to say yeah. that she had lost in the UFC. Because yeah, you know? if, if if you're going to have her lose off the bat, you don't do it this way. You have it in a match against an a, actual a clearly <laughs> a clearly more dominant opponent mm-hmm. like Asuka, and then you go from there. I mean, unless Triple H just beats Kurt Angle right out of the gate and pins that, him. That is technically a possibility, but I don't think... I think that there's no way that Ronda doesn't pin Stephanie to end yeah. the match. Or makes her tap out. Probably makes her tap out. Oh, yeah, that'd definitely. Be, yeah, that'd be my guess. So. It's it's, it's going to be interesting. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Are you agreeing with yes, me, then? Yes, I am agreeing there with you. Rousey. All right. So up next, we have a fatal four-way for the U.S. championship. <laughs> Just kind of stuck that in there. Yeah. Well, it made sense for a buffer match. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that weird point where a lot of these matches don't feel like they should be a buffer match. Yeah. When you get higher it, up on the card. It is WrestleMania, though. So it's true. It's a good thing that the matches actually feel like they mean something. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, but, yeah, we got Randy Orton versus Rusev versus Jinder Mahal versus Bobby Roode. Yep. Um, um, it's going to be Rusev I Day. I was going to say, I, I want Rusev to win. I feel like this is this is his shot. Yeah. I mean, what, what will he be? Like a three-time champion, something like that? Three or four. Yeah. Um, but I mean... Frankly, if he doesn't win, it's not the end of the world. I think that if he, he can go on and face whoever the WWE champion mm-hmm. is, and that's fine. Because, like we said, there's really no other people. We didn't get the Orton and AJ feud, right? Because I feel like... They wrestled a few times. Yeah, but never... Yep. Nothing. There was no pay-per-view match or anything. I, I feel like after Randy drops the title, he's going to move back up to the main event scene. That would in work. In some fashion, just because they wanted to get this out of the way, they made a big deal about him not winning the title. Mm-hmm. I mean, Ru- I mean, Rusev, if he wins, he's probably going to pin Jinder or Bobby. Rude. Yeah. So, I guess Orton or Rude would be viable 
WWE Championship contenders. I would think so. I mean, so that's that's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Rusev obviously you want to see win, and that'd be a good, good for the crowd. It, it does, yeah, exactly. So, um, I feel like that match. If <sighs> it's gonna say maybe after a match that some people aren't gonna really care too much about, just to have them excited again for like the main event. Well, so does that you know, makes sense for a buffer it match makes sense to have here. Rusev. Right, right, because the 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 angle on Rousey or the angle on Rousey versus Triple H Stephanie, half the crowd's not gonna care. Yeah. The only people who care aren't probably going to be there. That's true. Because, you know, this is for the casual fan that's going to watch from their free mm-hmm. subscription to WWE <laughs> Network. <laughs> How do you get that free subscription? <laughs> so, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyway, moving on to the main event. Yes. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Mm-hmm. Roman wins. Roman does win. Lol. Uh, <laughs> will he proclaim on the night after Mania that this is my yard again and get booed out? Um, nah, to I, be perfectly honest, I think that... I think this is the year. Yeah, where he gets over? Yeah, that's true. I think so. Um, I've been a fan of Roman's pretty much since we started watching wrestling again. I think that he has actually improved vastly. Tell people that. I, I don't care. I'm kidding. I wear my big dog shirt with pride. <laughs> I didn't pay for it technically, but I wear it with pride. Well, I did pay for it, but I didn't. I didn't. You didn't know what you were yes, getting. It was in one of those loot boxes or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, Slam crate. Yes, but Roman has improved greatly on the microphone, in the ring. He just feels more of a complete character now. And He's definitely come into his own. Even with this feud, there's more a little bit been more intensity and fire yeah. behind him. Mm-hmm. So. So. I think, and the crowd does seem to be getting behind him. They went with a good uh, story. Story, yeah, yeah. It so made sense. I mean, they got people to not like Brock Lesnar, who is a very unlikable person. <laughs> so I don't understand why that's so hard. But I guess it's a lot of wrestling. people just like to see somebody get their ass kicked. That's yeah. really what it comes it's, down it's to. It's true. That's why everyone likes Braun so it's much. It's true. Granted, there's a lot of good things besides that for oh, Braun. He's hilarious. But yes, he's a very good comic time, comedic timing, and stuff. But but a, a lot, a large part of what got Braun into the position that he's in is the fact that he likes to beat people up. They beat up Roman Reigns. It's true. That a was, lot. That was the big, big part of it. I could see next year's main event being Braun and Roman. We, when we first started doing this, they, it was probably about a year ago. They had Roman against. It was probably when the Roman and Braun like feud happened right. started. Yeah, and. Um, I think they main evented Raw, and Brock Lesnar was at like the ten o'clock hour, and we mm-hmm. said something about like, why is this like going on the main event of Raw? Yeah, is because this is them prepping for the future, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Because this is going to be the main event of WrestleMania five years from now. Right. I think yeah, that's what I like, said. Yeah, yeah. It could be next year too. Yeah. But I, I was just saying that that was like Daniel example. Bryan main events. That's true. Who knows? But, that's a giant question mark. Yeah. Doesn't so. get much bigger than that. Very true. So, um, yeah, I I think this will this will be the year for Roman. And well, it's not yeah. like he hasn't held the title before, but not the universal title. Yeah, but there's only been four people who held it, so doesn't matter. Still presented as, as the top him, title. Yes, 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 yes. Well, it's presented as the top title now. Yeah, it's true. Um, but I now I forgot what it was. Oh, um, it. It, it will be nice to have a champion that's there all the time. It's true. It's, it's well, it is It is nice having a, I guess, a, a feel of importance by not having right. it there all the time. At the same time, it does. Yeah. It just, I'm so sick of Brock. It's, it's, it's been done. It's, we, yeah, it's, it's, we're it's, at the point where it's over. It's, it's old. It's it not needed. Yeah. So um, that's my thought. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if this was it for him. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, how old is he anyway? Uh, 39. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's seen his age. Right? Oh, yeah. I believe. So he's probably 40 by now. Yeah. Maybe a little older. He so. gets tired going down to the ring, so. Yeah. He did get winded pretty quickly the other night. Mm-hmm. Couldn't even push over the uh, gurney. <laughs> he's pushed it into the crowd. Or into <laughs> the, the stands. Yeah. But, I mean, there's so much good about this WrestleMania, like, compared to last year. I mean... No, last year was pretty good too. 
Yeah, it, it was... I, the I, build wasn't as good. No, that is true. But I think as the years go on, it's getting better. All right, better. I, I didn't mean it in terms of quality, but it just feels like there's a lot of big matches going mm. on. It's true. Like you have... I mean, come on. Seth Rollins and Finn Balor in the Intercontinental title match. It's true. And that, that feels like a big match, right. too. Yeah. Not to you know take anything away from the Miz, but he's he is the Intercontinental he, Champion, and part of it is the fact that he made it feel so big too. So it's certainly not a discredit to him. No, not at all. So, but yeah, uh-huh. looking forward to this WrestleMania. Should yeah, be good. It should uh, long, but good. That's it. And uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. So that was our WrestleMania predictions. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.